The brown cloud looming over our cities, the protection of our habitat, even our national security. These are just some of the issues that are linked to what we put into our fuel tanks every day. So it's no surprise that a growing number of people are tackling the question of how to limit our reliance on gasoline. Now, who would have thought that one of the answers would come from our kitchen cupboard? Martin Stenflo and his cohorts are preaching the merits of biodiesel, a clean burning alternative fuel easily made from fresh or recycled vegetable oil, one of the simplest and most accessible of any alternative fuel. Martin is out to show us all how a simple thing like modified vegetable oil can change the world. It's easy to get overwhelmed sometimes about all the issues and problems that are going on in this world, especially our dependence on foreign oil, our contribution to global warming, our energy problems, our fuel problems. And it's tremendous, you know, what can we do? The world's in a turmoil. Oil is a big part of the problem, and biodiesel is a solution. To really solve the whole sustainability problem, we need to figure out how we can get sustainable using the current infrastructure. We don't need a technology that's out there in the future that one day um, people will be driving their cars in the water, one day people will be using crystal energy to, to power their vehicles or to, to get energy. You know, we need technology that can be applied today, that can be used in the existing infrastructure. When I found about biodiesel that, oh, I can use my existing car without modifying it, I can use the existing pumps and tanks and pipelines and refineries, everything that's currently out there, and I get my oil for free from the restaurants, I, I, I couldn't think of anything better that, than that. My name is Martin Stenflo, I'm one of the co-founders of Boulder Biodiesel. The mission of Boulder Biodiesel is to spread the use and the awareness of biodiesel and alternative fuels in general. When I found out about biodiesel, I didn't believe it. I read about it and there were people claiming that it was true, but I had to find out for myself. I made a couple of blender batches in my kitchen. You take a blender, you take some vegetable oil, some alcohol from your kitchen, some lye and you throw it in there and you make some biodiesel and it works. The, the chemistry works, but does it really work as a fuel? So I'm riding my bike home and my neighbor across the street has a for sale sign on his diesel Mercedes. So I bought his car for $1,500, 1983 Mercedes Benz, and poured some of the fuel I made in my kitchen into my tank and it still worked. I was using 100% vegetable based fuel in my diesel Mercedes, which I got for $1,500, and I was making fuel for 70 cents a gallon in a little processor I built for about 30 bucks. I discovered that I can be completely petroleum independent for a very minimal cost. That's the way Boulder Biodiesel started. We wanted to pool together our resources so we could make fuel for each other. Well, it turned out that there was a far larger amount of people interested than we originally thought. And before long, we had 100 members in our organization. And we host conferences where we give people the skills and all the information they need to make their own biodiesel and set up their own biodiesel production system, either at home or on a large scale. This is one-time used deep frying oil from a turkey. Anybody can use and make biodiesel. It doesn't take a tremendous amount of skill. So we teach people how to make biodiesel on a small lab scale. Like when I made my first biodiesel out of a blender using some vegetable oil from the kitchen, some alcohol and some lye. Makes your margaritas taste kind of funny afterwards, but essentially you can make biodiesel on a very, very small scale. If you want to just use the funnel too. You got it? Perfect. Who, who's done this before? 
How are you guys doing? Ten milliliters, but if you're over, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just you just want the oil in solution. Biodiesel has better lubricity than regular diesel fuel, so it'll extend your engine life and reduce friction. The emissions from biodiesel are clean, non-toxic, it's biodegradable, you can essentially drink it, it's less toxic than table salt, it biodegrades faster than sugar, it is a clean, safe, non-flammable, non-hazardous, non-toxic alternative to diesel fuel. Well, generally you want to react for about an hour, but we'll see, like, 85% of the reaction happens like when the first five to ten minutes. Oh, for like larger batches? Then you use a processor. And we'll do that this afternoon.